Support for 100 Watts and a Wire is brought to you by 100wattsandawire.com. To subscribe to the show, simply click the RSS feed or subscribe wherever you get your podcast. When you visit, apply for your free 100 Watts ID and learn how you can become a sustaining member. Click the Donate page and pick the option that works best for you. We've got a traveling toolkit, 100 Watts and Wire gear, and activity days with prizes. That's 100wattsandawire.com. Wish it, wrap it, gift it. Step up your gift-giving game this year and give your favorite ham the transceiver at the top of their list. ICOM has a variety of high-performance and innovative products. Visit icomamerica.com slash amateur for more information on all ICOM radios. And LDG. Check out LDG's new Balins and Unins. The RU9 to 1 Unin is perfect for connecting your coax to an N fed long wire antenna, and the RU1 to 1 Unin helps keep RF out of your shack under any condition. Take a look at the website ldgelectronics.com for more info. LDG Electronics, everywhere you look, there's an LDG. <laughs> And now, from Grid Square Echo Mike 48, this is 100 Watts and a Wire. Well, hello there. It's Christian. My call sign is Kilo Zero Sierra Tango Hotel. I'm joined in studio today by the old squeaky chair. Say hello. I got to do something uh, about the old chair. Maybe replace it would be good, but you know how us hams are. We've got other things that we need to focus on. This old chair does the job. It keeps my ass aloft and not on the concrete floor here in the shake. I also have the uh, 2 meter 440 rig. We're listening to 2 meters behind me. We have a snow event happening through today and into tomorrow. Could be a little dicey tomorrow. And I've got family out on the road today catching a Christmas performance. So I'm listening to what's happening around town through the local repeaters. If you hear it squawking in the background, uh, there you go. I'm also checking uh, my messages just to make sure everybody's safe. Okay, everything's good. That is a message from Steve, W7UDI. We were up uh, talking about, and Steve is net control manager. He does the Sunday evening uh, 100 watts and a wire net for us and uh he's also an elmer to me you know he's a mentor today we were talking about rg8 and that cable and the potential loss uh doing aries work and i was curious to see should i be lugging around uh the lmr 400 because it's heavier bigger you know and what is the difference in the loss definitely a weight difference in rg8 uh, so uh, I need to get some supplies together. I, I actually don't have enough connectors to build. I want to put together a couple of 25-foot connectors and cables to have them at the ready in case there is some sort of event and the St. Louis Aries team needs to deploy. You know, it could be unlikely. I don't know. I'm new to it. I have no practical experience. I've talked about it. I read a lot. And I ask a lot of questions. I have that curious mind thing. But I want to uh, put together sort of a bag. You know, people call it a go bag. I don't know. It's a little bit more sophisticated than just a bag. I do have a mast and a couple of antenna options for the 2 meter 440 type of stuff. I can get us up about 15 to 18 feet. I want to have enough coax, and I do. But I want to have enough coax dedicated to this particular bag or this sort of deployment scenario it's not all going to fit in a bag and i i don't anticipate just having to run out of the house with one bag uh, to serve as aries now there's other bags that you know you may have that's uh, in your truck or that kind of thing your vehicle kind of get home type bag lots of different bags lots of different things and lots of different rabbit holes in filling them up properly did i mention that the squeaky chair is here Yes, and the squawking uh, from a repeater that isn't very close or somebody not really making it into behind me. Again, I'm listening for traffic, snow updates, area-type stuff just in the background. It's what we do. 
This will be the last show before Christmas, the Christmas break. I'm enjoying doing the every other week 100 Watts in a Wire podcast. It gives me time to reflect. It gives me a break. Uh, topics can accumulate, that sort of thing. And we can, uh, I've been thinking a little bit about the move to YouTube. I've got some email messages from the appearance on Ham Radio 2.0. We did a, um, I'm the only, technically the only YouTuber not in that bunch. But Jason has uh, put together a lot of the YouTubers who are doing things Ham Radio related. Lots of different stuff, a lot of cool stuff. Big panels of people talking about things. And I appeared a few weeks back, got some emails about, dude, are you going to do it? You know, I'm I'm honored that I'm a podcaster. I don't know the the name of this thing he's doing is YouTube bar, YouTubers bunch something like that. YouTubers bunch kind of a play off the Brady bunch, I suppose. And uh, I was invited there, and I was invited back as just you know podcaster audio side. But I've been thinking a little bit about it, and I've tried YouTube in the past, but it was just another mouth to feed. I'm not out there making videos. I used to walk out there and, and you know, show you the trees and like, I don't know about this. Who cares? However, I may do more from the show, you know, bring some people on. We'll have it. It'll kind of come into this side of the show and also show you a little bit from the shack, the recording, the conversations. If that's interesting, cool, I would do it. And I've been setting up uh, audio in the shack to do it. What happens is sending a, a beautiful mic signal through sort of that AD switcher and getting into digital conversion, you get that Skype effect. You know, that thing where it sounds like it's coming through the computer or a telephone. So I've been working to sort of dial in my signal and my tone not to lose so much. I want... In other words, I want anything that's happening on YouTube to sound relatively close to what we're doing here and what we have been doing with the audio. I'm trying to feed this audio directly through, say, I'm having a conversation on Skype or Zoom. Sending that audio is going to be a little different. So I'm monitoring that. I don't have the big camera systems uh, to dedicate audio directly in through the camera, through a mixer. So I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to think of it. And having this every other week format nowadays, I've been doing that since October, you know. Uh, and it's nice. I get, I get a break. I get a break. I can work on other things and uh, learn and study. I've been studying MCOM, again, with the go bags, what to think about, some kind of procedural things. And in March, plan to take a new course. Christmas time's come, man. And uh, I asked today, uh, in fact, if I can pull it up here on my screen as we casually uh, enjoy each other's company. You know, I asked what's on your Christmas list. You know, it can be ham radio adjacent. That means things like camping. You like going up on soda. There's things that you need. Perhaps it's a jacket or a telescoping mast, things that are adjacent to tents, hammocks, things that help support the amateur radio hobby. We'll talk about those when we come back next. Whether you say 73 or 73, even 73s, we're still 100 watts and a wire. Members of the Hamily make the most out of this holiday season with one of these ICOM radios, the IC7610. Tis the season to give your favorite ham the SDR they really want. This high-performance SDR has the ability to pick out the faintest of signals even in the presence of stronger adjacent signals. How about the IC7300? Ham for the holidays! ICOM is changing the way entry-level HF is designed. This high-performance, innovative HF transceiver with a compact design will far exceed your expectations. And the 9700, this transceiver is at the top of every ham's wish list this holiday season. Keep your competitive contesting edge with faster processors, higher input gain, higher display resolution, and a cleaner signal. ICOM's IC9700 is the pinnacle of perfection. Visit icomamerica.com slash amateur 
for more information on all ICOM radios. And BioNO Power, offering the best performance lithium iron phosphate batteries for your ham radios. Visit BioNOPower.com. That's B I O E N N O P O W E R.com. Or contact dealers nationwide. You're a freak with a microphone. Back to net control with Christian. K0STH. Well, I asked some people on the Facebook group, if you are doing social media, you can find us on Twitter, and we have a very active Facebook group. You're welcome to join us there. Search 100 Watts and a Wire podcast from any Facebook page. The squelch here and uh, the connection here on this repeater, these guys are talking about how to cook different kind of wild animals. I'm just looking for snow coverage. So uh, maybe turning that down. I cannot turn down the squeak of the chair. It's natural. Deal with it. It's an old chair, and I uh, wiggle. I wiggle when I work. It's a problem. I know. Get a stool. Eh. Eh. I wanted to know what's on your ham radio Christmas list. Many people have chimed in. We did this this morning. It will bring several different responses. Joshua says, I'll wait to see what Santa brings, but I'm eyeing a DMR setup. He's Kilo Delta 8, Sierra Lima, Quebec. Andrew says, I hope he drops off an ICOM 9700 or a new fly rod and four LAZ. Guido says, two acres in the middle of nowhere and two 120-foot towers. Okay, Guido. I guess that's what we all want a little bit. Uh, Jeff says, uh, I've already sent my U.S. spec FT-875D. Uh, he's coming back home. He'll be in Maryland. He lives in Japan now, but comes back for the holidays, and uh, we hope to hear him on the air on Friday. He is JR2TTS, and when he is back home here in the States, uh, November 1, uh, November India 3, bravo. Sorry about that, Jeff. Didn't mean to... Uh, I'll bust a call there. Mickey says an FT-891 with an Atlas antenna that goes to the radio. And he wants to put it on his rusty Chevy. KD0DCZ. Garth says absolutely nothing. Christmas is, is about someone else, which includes selflessly giving, not selfishly getting today. Okay, Garth. Okay, thanks for playing around uh, along there, I mean. Um, amen and all. John, already got mine. Surface Go tablet with Wires X portable in the truck. Works like a champ, too. 73 N4 EJM. James says he wants sleep. If I get sleep, I'll be happy. N2 ADV. Larry says nothing. Nobody understands what it is that I would want. Or would know how to get it anyway. W2LJ. All right. Daryl says, uh, I need some antenna mast. Starting with extendable flagpoles. Worked for months. But something happened and two bent in the middle. So my off-center fed dipole is out of commission right now. Somebody get Daryl a telescoping mast. Uh, to get that off-center fed off the ground. Gary said, I asked for a Davis Instrument weather station. Weather stations, that's on the uh, the periphery, right? This is uh, this is uh, adjacent, ham radio adjacent. We are, uh, it's all connected. Jeff says, easy hang square shot antenna launcher to put up wire antennas. He's K9, uh, K9YR. Ginger says, to pass my technician exam, then start shopping. Ed says, for those cheap antenna analyzers. One of those cheap antenna analyzers. Gordon, why not start shopping now? Ellie, to get involved with MCOM. Me too. KC1, KZX. Tony says he wants a Bencher RJ1 straight key. Dan says, a new soda adventure. Yes, Dan. Yes, Dan. That's what I'm talking about. I'm thinking in my mind, and it helps me with the MCOM stuff, you know, all that you can't leave behind. And we'll talk about this in the coming weeks uh, as my uh, my interest unfolds here with 
uh, MCOM stuff and then doing soda. What can you put in that bag? What are you going to put in there? You know, man, I've been thinking about sleep systems and I'm leaning more and more, you know, toward kind of doing the, the tent. But maybe I could be a hammock guy. You know, if I'm up on the summits, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's fun, isn't it? Carrie says, I'm getting a power meter that can show peak power. Dwayne, I asked for Comet NCG SSB 5NMO. And something else there. Another Comet and a Yesu FTM 400 XDR. His call sign is Kilo 9 Lima Romeo Golf. And his 100 watt ID is 3915. Hazen, I asked for an amp, but I don't know which one yet. Oh, he would ask for an amp. I'm sure that if you posted that on the 100 Watts in a Wire Facebook group, many, many, many responses. And I think it will come down to what is your budget. You want to buy the best thing that you can buy within your budget. So Hazen, establish your budget, post it up onto social media, and you will get lots and lots of responses for sure. Jeff says, I don't do CW as much as I like, but always one christmas eve for the last he's always wanted one i see i'm confused he doesn't do cw as much as i'd like but always make one on christmas eve i see i see i see you make a contact you make a contact got it jim jim wants to get an hf antenna backup and to get a japanese call sign uh, so that i can play with VHF, UHF, when I'm in Japan next year. Dave says I need a complete, uh, he wants to complete his HF mobile setup. He wants to get an antenna that is sturdier than the one he built at home. Uh, I like the, I have the uh, Tar Heel antennas. They're not cheap. And of course, there's many different ways. I could not believe it. My friend Kilo India 9 Whiskey was doing about 70 miles an hour. I think he had a ham stick on, the, on his uh, vehicle. I don't know what he had. And I was just shocked. He was 5'9 plus moving down the road. And I was uh, working portable in Missouri, made the contact, just couldn't get it in my head. Uh, HF Mobile is uh, really exciting. And so is VHF UHF. I find it very valuable to have this communication, especially like today. We're having a bit of a weather event. Three to seven inches is going to fall here. But in a town like St. Louis, one inch can shut you down. People who live out on the west, uh, out west like Montana, uh, you know, like uh, Wyoming, those places like that, laugh. Seven inches is nothing. You know, no problem. No problem at all. And it might even melt by noon. Not here. They don't really budget properly for it. Uh, the people that work here are doing the best that they can, but the drivers don't see that much. And it becomes a real snafu. If snafu stands for it's all effed up and jacked up and people are all over the place screwing up and being dumbasses, that's the snafu we have. And uh, when I have people out there on the roads, we're trying to listen, uh, but not too much going on locally. Uh, I'm hearing a little bit from Illinois, not too much from St. Louis right now, but we are getting uh, some snow in the area. Uh, Kevin says he wants a nice replacement for his trusted FT980. Eli says, or Eli, I'm sorry. Eli says uh, he'd like his wife to be more understanding. Eli. Eli. Okay. Steve wants mince pies, turkeys, a bottle of port on Christmas Day, and a visit to the pub on Boxing Day. Patrick says, I'd love two 100-foot towers with an array of antennae. David says he'd like a good headset. Joe says he would like an FTDX 3000. David, a go box. Again, people who are doing the parks on the air, doing the uh, summits on the air, just going out camping, you know, we start to think about what is it all that we can't leave behind. What are those items? And it's fun to think about, but you know, you, you, you're building, you're constantly evolving here with it. Let's do a few more here. Uh, Chris said he would like a, a clean shack. Good luck with that, Chris. Good luck with that. Mike says a ham fest dolly to carry in and out all my stuff. He's Kilo Bravo 8, Zulu Golf Lima. Joe says two more bow fangs. 
UV 5R radios for my MCOM zombie apocalypse bug out bag. Again, the bug out bag. And, you know, Bofang, I've never played with one. I know they're getting a bad rap around, but, you know, whatever, man. Who cares? Radio to me is radio if it works when you need it, if you can improve the signal. Whatever, man. Whatever works, whatever you can do is what you can do. Make the most of it. Dennis, I just want my 56-foot tower with a hex beam. All right, we'll park it right there for now. We'll take our final break. We'll come back. Oh, man, we've got some acoustic things to do, but I want to do the... Um, this week, we'll pick up with the acoustic stuff. Uh, we've got some QSL card uh, package we've put together for you, but I want to do the uh, the Youth on the Air segment and find out what's going on with that, and we'll do that next. When in doubt, hang them high. This is 100 watts and a wire. LDG Electronics provides state-of-the-art antenna tuners for every amateur need. From QRP to QRO, fixed stations, portable and remote, an LDG tuner will match your radio to your antenna using our lightning-fast, proprietary tuning algorithms. LDG is a family-owned and operated company dedicated to bringing innovative, quality products to the amateur market. All LDG products carry a full two-year warranty that is fully transferable when you sell it, with no paperwork required. Support is only a phone call or email away. We're always here to help you. Visit us on the web at ldgelectronics.com. Hi, this is Jocelyn, KD8VRX. I'd like to take a few minutes today and talk to you guys about Yoda. That's Y-O-T-A, not to be confused with Yoda from Star Wars. That's another event later this month. Um, But Yoda, Youngster, stands for Youngsters or Youth on the Air. The program was started in Europe about a decade ago, and it's finally making its way to the United States. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. So I was licensed in 2013, upgraded to General Uh, A month later, and about a year after that, upgraded to Extra. I was introduced to radio through scouting. Uh, I was a youngster or teenager. I participated in uh, Jamboree on the Air. And I made my first DX contact in Europe. Uh, Got the other scouts' information, and we became pen pals. Um, You know, no internet back then, no email, so uh, letters back and forth for a little while. Um, I got more interested into radio, but the ham that hosted the event for us moved away, so uh, I knew it was radio. I didn't realize what I did was called amateur radio. I thought it was CB or something, Uh, again, being a young teenager. So fast forward 30 years, and uh, I've got now two boys, and I decided to become active in scouting again and became a den leader. And for us, October here in the Midwest is always a little gloomy, so we're looking for inside activities most of the time, and looked online and found Jamboree on the air, and uh, that all clicked. I'm like, that's what I did 30 years ago. Uh, Got linked up with the Voice of America uh, Club here in Westchester, and they wanted to host the event, uh, no problems. Um, but they said, you know, we're always looking for operators to help out with these types of event. And I thought, since they're doing this th- uh, for us and being so nice about it, I should probably help them out as well and give back. So I got licensed, and that's how I got hooked or more interested into amateur radio. I was also a VEX Robotics mentor slash leader. Um, which was very interesting. You're giving a challenge every year, and you have to help the kids uh, meet that challenge. Uh, We let them be creative. Uh, We're just there to help in making sure their ideas uh, come through. Um, And it's always amazing to see uh, what the kids come up with and try to make them achieve something that they didn't think was going to be achievable. So it's always a very good feeling. Now back to Yoda. So Yoda, as I mentioned before, stands for Youngsters or Youth on the Air. And the program is really inc- there to encourage kids to get on the air. Um, so to do that, there's a bunch of activities throughout the year. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is Yoda December month, which obviously is this month. So you may have noticed a few different call signs out there on the clusters. Uh, we've got in the U.S., we've got K8Y, k 8 O. K-A-T and K-8-A, which the suffix spells Yoda. 
Now, all of these stations are going to be operated by young operators under the age of 25. So do me a favor. If you hear them, you see them on the cluster, take a few minutes and work them. We want to generate pileups. We want these kids to be busy. We want it to make it a fun event. Um, and that's any of the stations uh, here in the U.S. or Canada, South America, or Europe. Um, now, with working these stations, uh, there is awards to be earned. Um, there is uh, different levels uh, depending on how many contact, and there's a point scheme um, that I don't remember off the top of my head, but you can find out all the details if you go to events.ham-yoda.com. Uh, that again is events, plural, dot ham yoda.com and if you want to find out more about what's coming here uh, in the United States Canada and, and the Americas uh, you can look at youthontheair.org so that's youthontheair.org and uh, you'll find out more about what's going on right now so we're going to keep it short for this month and we'll be talking more about Yoda in the upcoming year so until then for 100 watts in a wire this is Jocelyn KD8VRX. Thank you for listening. All right, Jocelyn, thank you very much. We'll check back in again in January. I, I'm curious to see how you put it's such an undertaking. Kudos to the organizers and the people who really care. These are people who will not be paid, right? They're bringing this to try to usher in the next generation of great young minds into this hobby, into STEM programs, into engineering. You know, you're going to see and hear about these kids one day down the line. And if you're lucky, you'll maybe work for one of them. Yeah, they'll push you around in the chair and be like, sit down. Sit down. Sit your old ass, tube-smelling, ampity-ampy self back over there. And they'll jump on some contraption and fly across the uh, floor. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know. But these kids will create it. They will, um, they will be tomorrow's leaders. If I can, I plan to go out there and visit Ohio, perhaps on the, uh, the end of the week, like Thursday into Friday. They're going to be doing some amazing things out there. And uh, I think there's hope for the future. All right, friends, this is where I leave you. This will be the last show uh, before Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. Please uh, do what you do on Christmas. Have such a great time that your pants don't fit anymore. You have to deal with the stretchy pants. Enjoy your children and your grandchildren. Make some memories. And also, if you can, sneak away when your dumbass uncle comes over and you're like, oh, man, I can't hang out with him. I can't talk about this now. I just can't do it. Sneak on down. Post on the 100 Watts in a Wire Facebook group where you are. Get on the radio. Let's make some contacts. And uh, if you're like me, maybe you'll get some days off. I, I'm, I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait to hear. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And by all means, if you can... Please try and stay above the noise. To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.